WEMF Radio, presented by the Sound Museum Boston. Welcome. Young Jerks. On WEMF Radio. Dot com. Every Saturday. 6 to 7.30. P.M. Eastern Time. That's right. Check us out. If you really want to know. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah, especially if you listen after the fact on YouTube, Daily Motion, uh, podcasts, etc. Yeah, you can listen to us live as well. But Yes, and you should. And uh, we know we do have quite a few listeners as of late, and uh, so do some of the other shows on this network, like, can we say his name can today? We, can you? After what happened yesterday? I don't know. I'm afraid. He might come for us. Yeah. Or, yeah, I don't know. It's just people are asking I, I questions. Would, I don't want to ruin it. Like, I would, not, know I would not say his name. You wouldn't say his name? I wouldn't. <laughs> oh, my God. Is that a warning? Are we, are we picking sides today? Is this the authority versus Robbie... Can I mean, you know, know steamer? everybody should be uh, for the station, right? Can you abstain? Well, could we be both for Robbie Road Steamer and the station? I think that's like supporting the troops, but Rob's not supporting not really the war. Making that a possibility for everybody. Well, maybe we can work that out. Maybe we can find some common ground. I don't know. That's what we're going to try to do Monday. We'll see. All right. We hope so. And people it's, are it's asking. Definitely it's awkward. funny because like uh, this went crazy yesterday um, on WEMF Radio. There's a video out, a podcast, uh, a live thing happened here, and um, people are asking me, is it real? I'd say, yes, it is real. People were wondering if this was some kind of like uh, Andy Kaufman, uh, World Wrestling Entertainment, you know, scripted KFAB, you know, act, and uh, no. It's no. real? It's really going down? Yeah, you just heard that. You oh, hear man. Dave. Yeah, no, I do know Dave. <laughs> and we know what goes on here. I mean. I was hoping it wasn't real. Well. I mean, I, I got to, uh, I, I love Robbie Road Steamer. You know, that's all. I just, I love the station too. So a lot of people are listening yesterday too. We love everybody. Yeah. Hopefully it works out on Monday. I, we, I hope so too. Yeah. You know? So, um, but we are the young jerks and usually we're, uh, not talking so much about the station and conflict at the station because things are going good at the station, I think. Right. Like Frank. Yeah, <laughs> every everything is great at the station. No, of course everything's awesome, and uh, happy to be Loved here. All that. You know, for sure. <laughs> you can't see the gun to his head right That's, now. Yes, but. no, everything is everything is fine. Call for help. But um, <laughs> but uh, we we have these uh, beautiful sweatshirts and t-shirts that uh, we're wearing. The new Young Jerks. I tell you, wow. everyone is like. Who's that? And I'm like, let me tell you. They love the they love the hoodies. Love yeah. them. And Dave Tree did those for us and the t-shirts. You can buy buy the t-shirts. There's two versions. Uh, I see one of them's already on the internet. Uh, don't blame me. I voted for Bell Chuck on our Facebook page. As long as uh, the Young Jerks uh, logo on the back of my hoodie. Um, the, those are not for sale yet. The hoodies. Eventually, we'll get some more hoodies. But uh, we got those for Frank and I. But the t-shirts are for sale. And that logo you see is the front side of the T-shirt, which you can also see on our Facebook page right now. We're going to be selling those, giving them away um, as well. Maybe some contests on the show. I think that um, you know, people have people have already grabbed a couple off me, and and, and, and you know, it's it they're going. Yeah. So get them. So we're going to be able support to support us. We'll support you, and and you know. Yeah, and you can uh, come find Frank or I if it's convenient for you in person, and uh, that would be the best way to get a T-shirt with cash money and you know either one of us in person um, if you know us, or we can mail them mail one to you if you're further away, you're not in the Boston area, uh, you don't see Frank or I. Um, we're gonna do a PayPal. Michael C underscore one hundred at hotmail dot com is my PayPal. You can send me money. Uh, we're gonna do lots 15, in brown paper bag. Fifteen dollars, and and uh, with the message with the. Uh, you know, when when you want to send the money, just make sure that we know where to ship out the T-shirt. That's right. And which one you want? Yeah. What size? To, and what size? The size the size matters I need in this size, particular occasion. And I need the back. You know, which back? Do you want the foul chuck or do you want the four twenty shirt? That's it. So I want them both. Me too. You know, I think I'm going to get them both. I think I'm going to get them. Both. I think you already got them both, <laughs> yeah, Frank. You got a good allotment, don't you? I'm going to wear both of them. I'm going to give you a hint, Frankie, because we split that? up the stash. We of did. We did. We got a good little stash. Not a not a you know forever amount, but it lasts us a little while, hopefully. But they could be gone tomorrow, 
And I'm going to say, Frank, make them last. Cause, I'm going to because when you run out, you're going to be like, oh, I wish I had one more T-shirt. I gave them some away where I shouldn't have. Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, the the, the T-shirts will will be uh, what's the what's the word I'm looking curated properly. Put them into the right hands. Absolutely. I feel like we're already doing that. Oh, yeah. You know, so and uh, we got some people in studio with us too. Yeah, we should talk. We about should that. probably talk about them. We got Healthy Hetty in the building. Hello. Hey, how are you guys? What's happening, guys? Thanks for having us, as always, hey, and uh, you know we enjoy uh, coming in. And I love this shirt. This is awesome. Yep, there's a couple pictures already. My eyes are barely open. <laughs> uh, that's okay. So the light off the shirt. It's just it's so brilliant that it's just. Is the light in the hall downstairs? <laughs> We're admiring the new sticker too, the d- big WEMF sticker down there. And um, yeah, that's nice on the door. Huh? Yeah. yeah, it's classy. Oh, okay. Orange. I'm going to go let Nikki in, actually. Oh, I'll be Nikki's right downstairs. back. Oh, yeah, I just got, got a message. She doesn't right. have... Uh, All right. We'll, 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 we'll have Kyle go No down. internento, you she says. You stay, Holly. Okay. So, yeah, Nikki's, uh, Nikki's saying hey, and I'm downstairs. I love how our show multitask. You guys are all producers here. We're, <laughs> we're building producers. I love this, Frankie. We're just Thanks, do, we're all doing a little bit of everything, you know? Yeah. We're all just... The only thing we're not oh, doing is working the boards. Went. And we should talk about what we're going to do today, because we haven't oh, even yeah. uh, touched that yet. Um the phone number is 617-500-7100. Uh, we will be taking calls in a little bit. But first of all, we're going to talk about... What are we going to do, Frank, today? Well, um, today we were going to talk about, obviously, the situation that's been going on in Ferguson. But more broadly, you know, discuss police brutality and, and militarization uh, of police. And, and just kind of how the issue is more from, you know, Mike Brown and... And Darren Wilson to this huge become like the the catalyst for a bigger conversation. Yeah, and that's a conversation. That's what I want to get to. As a, I want to talk about the conversation. I think that's the most important part. Instead of spoke, you know, focusing like a lot of shows do about the specifics on this exact case and whether it's worthwhile or meritorious, like that makes a difference. It really doesn't. That's the thing. I mean, this is all, all a symptom. There's a bigger issue, and that's always been my point here, where I have uh, had alternative viewpoints that some might question, a little more conservative in some respects, a little more um, supportive of the police in some respects. But I don't know on this, Mike Brown. Who knows? It's not about that, really. And I want to make it about our show today, about the conversation. Yeah. Because I think the conversation on both sides is interesting, and I think. The ones who are being more intelligent about it are the ones who I'm gravitating towards more. And I think that, uh, again, when, when we talk about these subjects, it's not easy, it's, not, it's difficult, and especially in the environment we're in. It's so politically charged. But I, that's what I want to try to do today. Yeah. I think raw, raw emotion, too, is like it's, it's easy to discredit you know, certain, you know, or a person if they're not really being cool-headed, clear, you know, concise with what they're saying. You know what I mean? Yeah. It went, when you, you have a, a raw emotion, you know, into it, you tend to do things that are maybe not the smartest, you know, thing to do at that time. And it, it makes it extremely easy for you to be discredited, even if you do have valid views or a valid viewpoint. I think for the average person, yes. I think that uh, people do fall for that. And, and sometimes that's how people get duped and programmed in some respects. Um, but I also think that there's a lot of examples. I think some of the, what I want to talk about is the real conversation, like the people of true heart, what are they saying? And the people that are suspect, suspect by their words and their actions. Okay. Like, what does that look like? Let's talk about like Mark Dice this week. Oh man, Mark Dice. I mean, this guy just, just keeps proving himself to just be like, not the best quality of human being. Whether agent or not. I mean, I still I call him an agent this week. The guy's totally an agent. Well, who knows? Like, I mean, we can't joke. prove it. It's a but... joke in a way, but this gets attention, and uh, I I can't prove that he's an agent. But man, he acts like one. Well, exactly. It's like what would what would you expect a person that took advantage of people who had a certain viewpoint and then made wild, crazy, you know, statements? Well, let's look at this statement because like, I have it up on. Uh, my Facebook page, and I want to find it. Like we're gonna save it because because I, I like I'm in the wrong account, and I know it's there, and I do <laughs> want to find it. But you know, basically, he tell uh, I can I can even set it up. But Talib Quelly, Quali, uh, did I say his name right? Yeah, Quali. It's yeah. Qu- I, I I can't say it. 
for yeah, the Blast fans. Don't up there. Don't blast on me, man. No, that's that's no on him. <laughs> I did pretty good, didn't I? You no, know, you did great. All right, thank you. <laughs> I don't even want to try it again because oh, you want me to say you can say. I the like first his name. music. I like the where he's coming from. I think he's, uh, you know, an intelligent male, um, in the music industry, which I like that. I think that you know he's interested. He's he's not just trying to uh, make money. He's probably making money. He should make money. But uh, he was commenting on the whole Ferguson thing. He went to Ferguson, and uh, him and Dice, I guess, have gone at it. And Dice got up there and just really. It was one of the most vile comments, and uh, it was basically talking that uh, this proves why Darren Wilson should get an award for, like, cleaning up the streets. The guy is just... <sighs> like, let's put it this way. Uh, if, if, if The whole thing about this Darren Wilson and um, the kid, Mike Brown. Even if Mike Brown is, is, is the punk that he kind of looked like in that video where he assaulted the shopkeeper. Allegedly. If Mike, well, we saw it. But allegedly. We saw a video of him. Still it, it was him. Unless you think someone else transcribed no, I don't, the video. I don't, I, don't think it was, I don't think it was necessarily, but he was never convicted but okay. of a crime. So. But at the scene of the crime, still anything could have happened. Like the police officer could have pulled the kid in the car and drove away and, and brought the kid Bartley Han, the kid's fighting back. Or the the kid could have instigated it. It could have really gone either way. We really don't know. There was no cameras. There's some conflicting testimony. They really didn't press the sh- the uh, co- police officer after this. He did shoot a number of bullets. So there is a, definitely a question. Oh. But let's just pretend, Frank, for a second. Okay. That the sh- the uh, police officer is 100% accurate in his statements. He did nothing wrong. It was the kid. Even if that's the case, you don't get a medal for that. You don't, yeah, um, when you play sports, when I played sports, people would get hurt. Accidents would happen. And this is what the bounty thing in the NFL is so outrageous. You don't celebrate when your victor, when, when your opponent gets hurt. You can celebrate the win, you can celebrate a great, great play, but you don't celebrate when someone gets paralyzed. Of course not. You don't get an award for that. No. You know, you don't, you don't maybe uh, hold it like, you know, if you didn't mean to do it and it wasn't a cheap shot, you don't hold it against yourself, but you don't celebrate that. Oh, you don't, you don't ruin someone's livelihood and then just start prancing around like it's an awesome thing. Yeah. And that's the conversation coming from someone like Mark Dice. Who a week ago was probably lamenting about police militarization and how the police were evil and the police were working with the Department of Homeland Security to take, take you out of your houses or, you yeah. know, he, he just wants, he, he's just a, a Push pander. your button. A Push pander. your button. Just divide and conquer. Yeah. Divide. Divide the left from the right. The white and the black. That's exactly what the whole entire point is of Mark Dice and, and everyone that, that's like Mark Dice. But let's you know? look at someone like uh, people we like. Like uh, I saw a detention. We posted that on our Facebook yep. page. Yep. I mean, here's a guy that really nailed it. He so nailed it. Like, of course he would. You know, do you know I, detention? Yeah, I I read um, that and it made a lot of sense to me. You know, and, and it's like he grew up with with what he grew up in in Brooklyn. You know, and it the the way the police treated them, like you called the fire department. He was talking about yeah, because you, you, you didn't, didn't trust the police. The police yeah, wouldn't come back exactly. Then. You know, and it it took Jimmy Carter to, to come down there and 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 clean things up. You know, and show everyone the way that they were living like that every day. I mean, and that's that's still a reality for some places in this country. You know, people still live like that. And black people do get arrested, jailed, fined, and prosecuted, shot, you know, shot. Yeah, more than any other race, you know, white or Hispanic people in America. Yeah, and we know? do have two million people in jail. But what? You and know, probably two thirds of them for nonviolent exactly. offenses. Exactly. Most of those people didn't hurt anybody. They had some drugs on them. Yeah. Oh no, that person's a danger to society. We better I mean, lock those people up to keep us all safe. I mean, from themselves. Jeez. Right. No, but I mean, I think it really, it shows too, like when you, when you get, you know, these people saying this kind of stuff like Mark Dice, but then you see people come out of left field, like that you knew, like, you know, you know, and, and these people seem like regular, nice, does, you know, you do you, I'll do me kind of people. And they just start saying the craziest racist stuff. Oh, the racist like, stuff. Yeah. Oh my God. Like crazy. The N word. Crazy stuff. N word everywhere. Them, trash. All yeah. This, yeah. Monsters, animals. You know, but like, then uh, I gotta say, vile, disgusting. Yeah. And then on the other side, 
And, and 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 if you notice now, there's websites that are exposing this. Yep, people, people are getting their fired. People are losing their people jobs. People are stalking these people when they say this on Twitter and Facebook, and they're losing their jobs. Truck drivers in the south are finding out you can't say that on Facebook anymore, dude, and get away with it and uh, tell people where you work like a fool you are. Like they don't realize this medium. Um, but on the other side, there's also this is what I get worried about: the cop haters, the cop haters. I mean, they, there was riots, you know, and part of me, Frank, I love the riots in a way. It's like black people should stand up and be angry. Yeah, but they not burn your own over place so down. Much. Burn the police station down. But, yeah, that's what bothers me. Like, even that uh, store apparently got – that store that where Mike was uh, – yeah, got yep, burned yep. down. I mean, it's just like – it's just terrible. It well, just- interesting point about that is they um, interviewed the guy from Sam's Meat Market, which was one of the places that got burnt, um, and he was told – by the Department of Justice, they had a meeting. All the shop owners had a meeting with the Department of Justice, and according to his lawyer, they they, they were told to not defend their own businesses by the Department of Justice, and that they they would take care of it. They would yeah. make sure that the businesses didn't get you know whacked. But at the end of the day, you know, not to focus on the story of Ferguson too much, but that the police were protecting the police station, the National Guard were protecting the police station. Nobody was on West Florissant, leaving it completely open. You know. They were in the more affluent parts of town. They were, you know, so that's what, that's what, just like the riots fuel the fire of people that can say, look at those animals and what they're doing. They want that to happen. Well, that's exactly yeah. the point. That's exactly the point is how much bigger would have the protests been on Black Friday? You know, with how much they would have been on Thanksgiving, the day before, every, the, every day since Monday, if that looting never happened, there would be so much more of a conversation, so much more of a dialogue, because it would it, you couldn't have used that against the people. You right. couldn't have used that against the protesters. And and you can make I've heard arguments on both sides. Yes, I mean I I agree with I agree with their issue, but you know I I don't uh, support you know people I, burning I don't, places I, I down. I think this is the problem when people bring politics into the looting. It's like let the politics die. I think that the politics of it and truth the looting probably did help actually the issue and will help the issue because people will talk about it more. And that's a sad reality, and I don't want to encourage looting, but I think that's the truth of no, it. You shouldn't that's why, loot. Well, I know, especially when the, the looting really doesn't have anything to do with the cause. No. And, every, and in some respects. And it's your own community. It's but not it's like, a frustration. There's a frustration. Yeah, we'll burn what, down police cars. And that's what I liked about burn Detention, because he's directly addressing what we're saying, what I was saying. He directly counted it. He's, he's saying the opposite. He's saying, you know what? You're not talking about the frustration, the, the amount of... The way the world is, how frustrating it is for us. Not only just look at us, Frank. We're 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 white, and it's frustrating. Imagine being black. How frustrating! It's ten times more frustrating. No, because you're I because mean, of the society. You're already you. started at a disadvantage, and it's it's it's. And you're reminded of everywhere. You everywhere go. you go, so. everywhere you go, you know, and and just stuff that we take for granted. Just being, you know, white dudes go walking into a store. Or, I'll give you an example. I was went. To, I went to D.C. right, and I went to a liquor store. This was probably three years, four years ago, and it was a liquor store where everything was behind plexiglass. The people that were in the store already, all black. All behind the plexiglass, you know, we're in front of the plexiglass. I walk in, oh, come in, come in, come in. Wants to let me behind the plexiglass while he keeps all the black people out of the plexiglass. Boom, there you go. That that's how that's that's like. And imagine, you know, how they felt, you know, looking at me walking through the plexiglass, or how they felt about the owner that they deal with every single day, letting me who was you know from a hole in the wall. Yeah. I could I could have had a gun in my pocket, yeah, yeah. you know, and and robbed them. That's reality. And that's that's the reality, you know. And and the unfortunate thing is that. Uh, too often in the conversation, it goes to the extreme. There are two extreme levels that have no real intelligent thought that doesn't go anywhere. And I think uh, hopefully things will change. We're getting there on the marijuana issue. We need to reform all the drug laws. Yeah, We need to come up with uh, real sorts of uh, education and banking reforms. Look at Evan Felchuk, what he's doing. Yeah, I don't think this goes away. And I no. think that uh, black and white need to unite. Left and right need to unite. The people you need to be united and i think that they are on this um we've had enough of seeing you know bad things happen and people and separated and people police divided. and um you know it's not being negative against the police we a lot it's, of us do like police hard, officers and you know we're friends with them and you know that may not be a popular thing in some corners but i grew up with certain police officers and i have no issue with them i like them they're they were good people growing up they're still good people and and I'm definitely not anti-police. I think that people I, get upset, you know, and and you know want to lash out towards police 
because they don't see good cops. You know what I mean? They don't see. Well, good, I have seen good cops, but I'm just saying, like, Many they times. don't see good cops. You know, taking out the guy. You know, that before they shoot the 12 year old that's just standing there, or taking out. You know, tackling the guy that says we don't have time for well, this. When they investigate, shoots the kid like, in the you back, know, yeah. you know what I mean? But when like, they investigate the, a crime and really uh, find out who the bad guy is and go after them. I mean, this. Yeah, they, this there are a lot of cases of that. You know, whether you believe in the state or not. No, yeah, it's sure. Like, you know, if there's a problem, you do call the police. A lot of people, not not in all communities, not in the black yeah. community, in a lot of respects. But you know, like detention was saying. But I think it's an interesting conversation to have this week, and uh, especially at what after what happened, and hopefully, you know, your your uh, can I call? Do we, do we say your wife, the yeah, mother sure. of your child, Benny? Yeah. All right. Sarah actually posted a good comment on there, which, uh, you know, instead of um, the police now getting funding from the federal government to buy all these crazy weapons, all these toys to get more militarized, let's take all that money and have the police, every single police officer, when they're on duty, is recording. Yeah. So mm-hmm. everything is recorded to protect them and to protect the citizens, keep everyone honest. And again, I got to say, the police. When we're out recording you out in the streets doing our activism or on the common and you see someone pull up with a camera or you're on the side of the road, you shouldn't harass someone for filming you. That's you have actually no right protecting to. you. Exactly. You have no right to. You have no right but to. not only that, police officer, keep in your mind. That is protecting you if something happens. Yep. So many times, you know, I've seen where the police officer is the one who is assaulted and abused by some bad person in the public. It happens and then the police officer needs that backing because mm-hmm. otherwise it's their word. The police officer is usually right in a yeah. court of law. We know that. But, hey, wouldn't you want to have a video camera to show Exactly. if you're an honest police officer? And that's what we all want. I think that's funny, though, because the, the vast majority of the recordings, I mean, that are that are out there or that are accessible, you know, are – Say, like, one of the best series of videos to watch is when they give, people go through the checkpoints. Yeah. Right? They're going through the checkpoints in, in uh, Arizona, and they're 50 miles away from the border, you know? And the cops are, like, the people are you, flexing their rights and refusing to identify themselves. Yeah. And the cops are like, Wah, I have the authority. Blah, blah, blah. And, like, that's what people see, yeah. you know? Flat that's, out lying. Yeah, just yeah. flat out lying to people yeah. and, and on a power trip but that because was, I that disagree That would kind of be you. limited if they knew that everything was Well, recorded. if everyone had a body cam. But and like, that's where it's going, though. The technology is already there. And it's already happening in so many ways, and and it's and, happening in some police internet, departments too. Yeah, in the internet as well. I mean, just look at these people losing their jobs. This technology, the way this blanket of technology, it's just transforming everything. Everything's going to be on camera. Everything's going to be recorded and saved eventually. And this stuff is happening. And um, if we can increase it in a certain respect, it does protect people. But I, I, you know, again, as a techie, as a you know pirate party, bringing them in, where does that that file go under the current system the police get to hold it the police get to yeah. edit it yep. get the re- responsibility of releasing it if there's a court case a lawyer has to go after them to get it to release yep. or a freedom of information act it has someone has to go after them right. i would like to see open source well yeah load let's see an open source website. government where the federal the, the state or local whoever just recorded that incident can still edit it if there's certain information that needs to be hidden for confidential informants or whatever to protect people's lives, we can still do that. There has to be a record. Someone has to sign off on it. It can be investigated. But this stuff needs to be readily accessible to everybody. Yeah. And uh, if we're paying for police officers to go out there, that's what we need. I, I really think that is the uh, kind of solution here on at least the police issue with this, with uh, what's been happening. And, well, and not totally. the, it's not the solution. It's just one thing that should Help us a little bit on it. Actually, speaking of pirates, Lucia says that it can go straight into the cloud. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> she just, she just messages us Seriously, on the page there. why not? Yeah, no, and I mean... Every and, 90 days, just upload it. Exactly, or just it can live upload, just like the ACLU app that you that they have, you know? you can While Futures, it's recording, yeah. it can go right to a website, yep. boom, right there, accessible. And if they want to delay it by a day to just, you know, scan anything that day, like, you know... Because you know they they don't know don't want to put out someone's social security number well, when they're reading sure. it off and you know, yeah yeah that, no they could you know and they could auto delete it they could figure out ways to just do that I swear to God in the, in the near future that's where we're going so some of this will go away hopefully but, yeah I mean it's just it's 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 the the deluge of negative posts that allow people to to talk that or have that opinion well that's a you know? thing scares me 
And it, but it's it's just it's just like the rioters. It's the same. You, like you know what I mean? You, you're talking about extremes on both sides. It's the same. It, that's extremes on both sides. You know, you've got the people that only want to talk about bad cops, bad cops, bad cops, bad cops, but they don't want to talk about you know the why the, the good cops. You know, yeah, the or they don't want to talk. They don't about, want to talk about the why too, because there is a big why. Like this is been bred on both sides. The police is seeing it as uh, the public hates us. We need to get more militant. We got to not never back down. And the people, and you know what I mean. It's just, it's, it's just raising the antis, anti. Well, that's like sides. there's an anti-cop block page now. Do you know about yeah. that? Well, I could imagine. So there's the bunch of cops. I mean, I yeah. love and hate cop block in a way. You know, I mean, I love the fact they film. There's nothing wrong with filming and and being police accountability. But in a way, there's an angle on that cop block that's kind of negative to police. It's really negative, and it just like uh, I wish there was a like there are some other groups police account. It was just a little softer in some respects. You know what I'm saying, Frankie? I I mean I understand I understand what you're saying I mean there there's there, you can have a softness or a hardness to it I mean I I think it's like front of the house back of the house kind of thing you know it it takes True. all types of you know different organizations True. and different you know because you want to pull from a broad spectrum to make the most amount of change and these are kind of things that like shock people you know and a lot and of look ways at their numbers you, right now exactly if you can shock people if you can show somebody that's shocking and someone says oh my god look at this you got to see this I just you question see that. question you know? do they have heart or are they like you know a Mark Dice of the world I think that what's the motive I think that you know so <laughs> I Jones. think I would I would venture to say that the majority of them have heart you we'll know see. but I know this show does and uh, we're, we're, we've been talking about this for a while. If anyone wants to call in, they can call. And we gee, we had a lot of listeners, and no one's daring to call today. Six one seven five hundred seventy one hundred is the number. That's six one seven five hundred seventy one hundred. I think it's because we're breaking into something new today. But we're going to get into some of this stuff too. There is a couple of we have a little of announcement. Announcement, you know, that we're going to make a little bit later about what you know about oh. some some good some good uh, good news. An ongoing story. An ongo- it is an ongoing story. That we're a part of. That's right. We don't want to give away too much. We always, we always have to tease marijuana. something and then we just and the, tell people. And the, kid, <laughs> the kids in Massachusetts that we've been talking about, maybe. That's right. That's exactly what it is. Uh, it's not like the end of the story, believe me. No, it's it's uh, but it's a definite step in the right direction. And something good. Yeah, it is good. We actually have something good to tell you. Yay! Breaking on this show. That's right. Exclusive, they call them. I didn't think that's what they call that. Is exclusive. Ex- a young jerk exclusive. Dude, we need to get that on a soundboard. Can we get that, Dave? Can we? It's a young jerk exclusive clip. <laughs> Brought to you by infowars dot com. That's right. <laughs> Mark Dice approved. <laughs> by the way, we no are, Mark we Dice, are no now we're now selling. Um, uh, what? <laughs> We are the young jerks. We Water are the true. You know how uh, young jerks, I mean, uh, young Turks and Alex Jones went to war about who's number one and number two in the alternative media? Yeah. It's like, no, we're, we're number two. Those guys are the same team. Come on. It's like Snapple. Probably yeah, be, come on. Be number two. We're number two. You guys can be number one, all right? Because we know who's behind number one, I think. Do you, Frankie? I mean, I think that, uh, you know, it's clearly undeniable that... Alex Jones and Bill Hicks are the, the exact same person. You so. really think so? <laughs> you go on that? <laughs> I'm like 50% of the way. I'm not totally committed to it, but you never know. I mean, I... I Something's like... I want even, it to be yeah, true. Even... what? Well, yeah, that's true. You and know? even the Alex thing, uh, the Alex Jones, we're talking about that now. 53 years old, he could be if he was uh, Bill Hicks, supposedly, yeah. as opposed to 40. I look at his picture and I'm like, dude, he does look more like 53. How old do you think he looks? Um, 53 or 40? I don't know. I was looking at a picture of a 50, uh, say like 40. 40. You think he's 40? No, probably not. I doubt he's actually 40. Have you guys seen Alex Jones? Yeah. Let me pull up a picture right How now. How old do you think he is? He, he's definitely looking towards the 53 end of the spectrum rather than 40. Absolutely, I guess, yeah, 53, yeah. all right. He's, but that could be old age. Like someone, I, maybe I someone put old like, uh, Someone put like uh, Breitbart up. And they were like, how old does he look? And I guess he died at like 43 or 40, something like that, early yep. 40s. Chris he looked about him. 52, so. But I think Alex even looks older to me. I don't know. It just might be the blood pressure and, could you know, be. the way that he's kind of going <laughs> could all be, the time. He's, <laughs> it you really know? could be he's Bill Hicks, though. That Yeah, that's. Especially yeah. in the Kevin Booth thing. <laughs> you know Kevin Booth came on a KLP show. Yeah? Yeah, right before KLP died. I did know that, actually. I mean, Kevin Booth was a... a Filmographer, right? Yeah, that was a little strange. Who worked with both Bill Hicks and 
Alex Jones. Yes. So that's that's the, that's like the the wispy connections right there that people make about Alex Jones and Bill Hicks. Um, and that story's been breaking, and the uh, Info Whores team like the, got a hit, gave a big response. Bill Hicks, they did. They they like, through a third party, like respectable third party. <laughs> like we could see that coming. Like that CNN called them. They're like, it was no, no, no. It was like Dana Bash. She was, it was like, like ah, the ah, Texas it's... Monthly or something. It was like, oh know, yeah, 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 yeah. It was. It was. Yeah, there was yeah. the tech, tech, tech. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're all over the place. We probably lost some of you. Uh, some of you are probably like, wow, these guys really know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> but come back. We're normal. We, we are the young jerks. We keep you thinking, and you don't know, you'll figure it out. You'll research yeah, you it. Do. We're every Saturday. We are the show in Boston for uh, politics and talk and getting things done. And having conversations. Yeah, and bringing all sides of the table in here. And that's what we're doing. Um, we're going to take a break and get back into uh, away from the Ferguson. Away from, actually, if you want to call and still weigh in on the subject, you can. But away from the Alex Jones and the Mark Dice vile talk. And hopefully talk about some medical marijuana and some other news stories. And maybe. some good news. Yeah. Maybe Absolutely. some bad news, too. Well, we got a pep of the bad. We'll give you the good first. Yeah. We'll be back. E F F Radio W 